Hello everybody, welcome to Inside the Booth, I'm Dan Arena. And I'm that other guy, Dan Arena, my best friend. Aww, Dan. <laughs> You're my best friend too. And my brother. And my brother. <laughs> Anyways. What do you got for us? Today we are doing this review for some cereal. I just saw it. It's pretty new as far as I know. Called Star Wars Cereal. The Child. From The Mandalorian. So is it a Star Wars cereal or is it Mandalorian cereal? Um, it says... I mean, it says Star Wars big on the top and Mandalorian on the bottom. So, so it's promoting the Mandalorian, it's but it's promoting, Star Wars cereal. Yeah, Star Wars cereal promoting the Mandalorian. And by the looks of the front cover, the little baby child, as people call it, Baby Yoda, has little marshmallow heads. Yes. So that's going to be interesting. Hey, can I drop a line we, here? Yeah. All right. So we just did our talk show not too long ago and uh we talked about the mandalorian so i just want to say uh to all your subscribers if you have facebook please find our facebook group page inside the booth and you can uh, enjoy us talking about this all right so, so anyways back to your review i think this came out because the new season two uh, season 2 is coming out on October 30th of this year. So I think that's why they're promoting it. Makes sense. Alright, so we're going to open this box. It's not even open yet. Right. Never tried it. We're going to try it now, I guess. Busting it open. We're going to try this and we're going to let you guys know how it tastes. If it tastes as good as the movie is, or show is, then... Yeah, show. It's show. If it, if it tastes as good as the show is, then we are going to have a good time. Well, yeah, the show Mandalorian is definitely better than some of the movies that came out with. Definitely better than some of the movies. I totally agree. There we are. I don't know if you can see that, but there is cereal in there. It looks actually looks like Kicks. With some little uh, Lucky baby, Charms. Baby Yoda. Yeah. Lucky Heads. Charm marshmallows and kicks. That's what it looks like. Who's the uh, General Mills? General Mills. I think General Mills does kicks and Lucky Charms. It smells okay. Come on, let's pour the milk in. Can you guys see that? I'm going to cut to this camera. All right. Oh, you're already starting to eat it without the milk, huh? Yeah. I guess let's try it dry first. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, Definitely tastes like kicks. Yeah, it has like a kicks taste to it. And that's definitely a Lucky Charms marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It almost has like a, like a strange lemony, maybe um, lime flavor, huh? What do you think? Tastes like a nasty dried marshmallow. <laughs> All right, and always promoting the uh, almond breeze. Yes, with vanilla flavor. And we don't get any kickbacks for that. Just no, so you know. we don't. Hmm. Oh. First bite. Wasn't too bad. Loaded with sugar. Every <laughs> child's dream. <laughs> My children will like this. I said, if you don't care about your kids' health. Seriously, I'm eating. Oh. <laughs> I said, if you don't care about your kids' health, let them eat the cereal. Because... Well, this thing is loaded with 12 grams of added sugar on top of the 12 grams of sugar. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Well, you know, I got some vitamins and minerals in there, but overall, it's really not that healthy. That's why it tastes so good. I was going to say, but how's it taste? What for, do you think? For a junk food junkie, I could eat this all day. Honestly, if you're a collector of Star Wars stuff, the graphics on the box aren't that bad. I mean, the, especially the back part. It looks more like a painting some of some sort. And maybe um, if you're weird, you can cut it out, frame it, put it on your wall. I don't know. If you're weird, yep. Is that I do, something you would do? Um, not anymore. It it's something like, I would have done as a kid. Sounds like something you would do. Um, I do know. I do have a feeling that some of people out there will be buying this box, keeping it closed, keeping the cereal closed, and keeping this thing forever. And in twenty years, they'll reopen it and check it out. Because um, I've seen people do that with other things 20 years ago. I'm sure this food would still probably be fresh and intact. <laughs> it's definitely better as a crunchy cereal, not a soggy cereal. Well, I guess it depends on what you like for texture. Do you like crunchy or do you like soggy? I personally like crunchy better. Me too. And the milk at the end tastes very sugary. I wonder why. <laughs> the whole cereal is nothing but sugar. Well, um, I'll have to say I kind of like it. It's not that bad. Um, definitely wouldn't eat it all the time. But if you're a cereal person, go ahead and try it out. I mean, it's fun. Fun to look at, fun to when you're eating. Fun to fun to look at Yoda's head, baby Yoda's head, the child's head. What do you think? Thanks. I feel like I gained five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I would not buy this for my kids or myself. Well, all right. Then. But if someone else buys it and they have it, I'll eat it. Because I don't <laughs> care. I like junk food, but. At home, I try not to bring in a lot of junk food. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I know this was a little uh, offbeat of what we usually do. But um, I just thought maybe this would be a little fun thing to do. Since I'm in New York. Since he's in New York. You know? So, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give it a like. Tell us what you think about the cereal, if you've tried it. Um, and, um, yeah, a little excited for season two to come as well yes season two is going to be cool definitely and maybe uh when episode one comes out maybe i'll buy another box of this and eat it and watch it just because i'm weird i definitely will not be buying a box of it <laughs> and eating it while i'm watching the mandalorian all right <laughs> sounds good well thanks for watching guys have a wonderful day evening and night Thanks. Thanks. Stop. Pause. Stop. <laughs>